the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. With your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, we welcome Jesus today to our home. What is the home of Jesus? Jesus said, you abide in me, I will abide in you. The abode of our God is our heart. Let us welcome our God into our heart. That's what God has chosen as his home. He's a God who wants to stay with us, stay within us. Let us open the doors and windows of our life to God for Him to come in and stay with us. Let there be no nook, no corner in our life closed to God. Every experience of our past, every event of our life, every relationship that we kept closed for God remains empty and dark, hurting and destroying. Let's understand this. When we denied God entry in our life, we were denying peace and joy and love entry into our hearts. This is a moment of repentance. A moment we tell God, we are sorry for this, for this mistake that we committed, denying God entry into our life. Let's keep our hands open in front of us. Let us confess together. To confess really means we understand our mistake and we open our hearts to God, for God to come in and take his abode within us. Let's confess together. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed may we of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy on us all. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy on us all. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy.
You have chosen to be part of our lives. You want to enter into our joys to make us holy. You want to enter to our sorrows to comfort us. You want to enter into our sin to forgive us. You want to be with us always. Oh God, Give us the grace to understand your love and open our hearts to you at every moment that you may be part of us, that you may make us part of you, you in us and we in you, in an intimacy of love. We make this prayer from the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 27, verses 1 to 5 and 15 to 29. When Isaac was so old that his eyesight had failed him, he called his older son Esau and said to him, Son, Yes, father, he replied. Isaac then said, As you can see, I am so old that I may now die at any time. Take your gear, therefore, your queer and bow, and go out into the country to hunt some game for me. With your catch, prepare an appetizing dish for me, such as I like and bring it to me to eat, so I may give you my special blessing before I die. Rebekah had been listening while Isaac was speaking to his son Esau. Rebekah then took the best clothes of her older son Esau that she had in the house and gave them 
to her younger son Jacob to wear, and with the skins of the choice kids, she covered up his hands and the hairless parts of his neck. Then she handed her son Jacob the appetizing dish and the bread she had prepared. Bringing them to his father, Jacob said, Father, yes, replied Isaac, which of my sons are you? Jacob answered his father, I am Esau, your firstborn. I did as you told me. Please sit up and eat some of my game so that you may give me your special blessing. But Isaac said, How did you succeed so quickly, son? He answered, The Lord your God let things turn out well with me. Isaac then said to Jacob, Come closer, son, that I may feel you, to learn whether you really are my son Esau or not. So Jacob moved up closer to his father. When Isaac felt him, he said, Although the voice is Jacob's, the hands are Esau's. He failed to identify him because his hands were hairy like those of his brother Esau. So in the end, he gave him his blessing. Again he asked him, are you really my son, Esau? Certainly, he replied. Then Isaac said, Serve me your game, son, that I may eat of it, and then give you my blessing. Jacob served it to him, and Isaac ate. He brought him wine, and he drank. Finally, his father Isaac said to him, Come closer, son, and kiss me. As Jacob went up and kissed him, Isaac smelled the fragrance of his clothes. With that, he blessed him, saying, Ah, the fragrance of my son is like the fragrance of a field that the Lord has blessed. May God give to you of the dew of the heavens, and of the fertility of the earth, abundance of grain and wine. Let people serve you, and nations pay you homage. Be master of your brothers, and may your mother's sons bow down to you. Cursed be those who curse you, and blessed be those who bless you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. So the mountains may depart and the hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you. For every moment, I forsook you, but with great compassion, I will gather you. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Chapter 1, verses 35 to 42. The next day, John was there again with two of his disciples. And as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. 
Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first found his own brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated means anointed. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Kephas, which is translated Peter. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be the Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Oh God, for the praise and glory of your name, for our good, the good of our families, for the good of the whole church, we offer our lives to you, O oh God. We offer to you everything wrong in our lives. We offer to you everything sad, everything sick, everything disturbing for your Holy Spirit to take charge and to turn it all to our good. At this moment and at every moment of our life that we may experience the power and splendor of your work in our hearts, in our lives. We make this prayer through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so love the world that in your mercy you send us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as in exaltation, we acclaim.
are indeed holy o lord the font of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may be comfort us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and george our bishop and all the clergy remember also brothers and sisters we have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray and with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With the confidence of the children, let's pray to our heavenly Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, oh.
Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory who said to your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever Amen. the peace of the Lord be always with you and with and your spirit so offer each other a sign of peace and love takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb Lord I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof holy share the word and my soul shall be Father, we thank you for the promise that you will never leave us alone, that your spirit will dwell within us, making Jesus present to us at every moment of our life. Give us the grace to live in him and feel the power of Jesus in us at every moment. We make this prayer through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go in the peace and joy of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.